In this video, we'll balance the equation copper 2 sulfate plus ammonium hydroxide yields copper 2 hydroxide plus ammonium sulfate. It's a double displacement reaction and it looks pretty complicated at first. It's actually a very easy equation to balance. I have my copper here and I'm just going to count that as one copper. That makes sense. But when I see this polyatomic ion, this SO4, and I see there's another SO4, I'm going to call this just SO4. I have one SO4 here. It's going to make things a lot easier. And again, I have this NH4, this ammonium ion here, and then there's an NH4 over here. I can just say I have one of these. And the same for the OH, the hydroxide. I have one hydroxide group here on the reactant side. I have one copper sulfates. I have just the one SO4 group here. The ammonia group, I have two of them, two times the one here. So I have two of those hydroxides. I have two of those. Right away, you can see that we're going to need to double the NH4 and the OH. And we can do that just by putting it 2 in front of the NH4OH. Now, for the OH, I have 1 of these times 2. That equals 2. And for the ammonium ion, the NH4, I have 1 of these times 2. And that equals 2. And all of a sudden, this equation is done. We've balanced it. If you were to add up all the individual oxygens and all the individual hydrogens and go through and balance the equation, you would get the same answer. We're just kind of clumping things together and that makes it much, much easier to solve this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuSO4 plus NH4OH yields CuOH2 plus NH42SO4. Thanks for watching.